In this video, I'm going to show off my development setup for hacking on Terraform, AWS Cloud, and Golang. I recently made the switch to NeoVim from Vim. Specifically, I'm using the Astro and Vim project, which combines many NeoVim plugins together with sane defaults to get you a fast and functional IDE-like experience out of the box. I have slightly tweaked my setup to use the Groovebox color scheme, and I use Tmux for terminal multiplexing. This is footage I captured recently while hacking on an open source project called CloudNuke. CloudNuke is a Golang command line tool that can efficiently find and delete your AWS resources. CloudNuke is written in Go, so I use RayX's Go and Vim plugin. That's about all I really needed to add to Astro and Vim setup to be productive in Go. Everything else that you're going to see in this video, such as the syntax highlighting, inline linting, telescope integration, and hotkeys are essentially unchanged from Astro and Vim's default configuration. As someone who is already using Vim for my daily driver, getting set up and productive with Astro and Vim was very, very quick, and I've been very happy with it since making the change. The experience is snappy. I don't feel lag when loading files or navigating through them, even with everything turned on, and the inclusion of LSP and package management makes the entire thing feel like an IDE product that you might have to buy or pay a regular subscription to. In this video, I'm working on extending the CloudNuke project with support for inspecting and deleting ECR repositories, which are the things that you push and pull Docker images from. We needed the ability to find and nuke all Elastic Container Registry repositories when cleaning up a deployed reference architecture. In general, since CloudNuke makes repeated use of several core patterns, once you've successfully added one new resource type to CloudNuke, you essentially know everything you need to to add a new resource in the future. For this reason, I find it's helpful to bring up and have handy a recently merged pull request that I can continually reference while coding. This allows me to quickly scan the outline of change files, remind myself of the patterns we use for deleting something with Go routines when no bulk delete API endpoint is offered by AWS, or to review the naming conventions we have for adding new tests. I plan to cover my development setup more in depth in follow-up videos, but for now you can see that I use Tmux and Awesome Window Manager in conjunction so that my workspace can naturally expand and contract according to the tasks I need to accomplish. Everything is a Tmux pane, which means I can have Docker running in one pane and my application code in another. I can grab something from the output of logs in one pane and paste that into the source code that I'm writing on yet another pane. I found this very handy for working in a wide variety of repositories and on work of all kinds, front end, back end, DevOps, infrastructure as code. You can write code in one pane and run your tests in another. You can control git status in yet another and then open a new pane to use a specialty command line tool. Finally, when I'm happy with my changes, I like to view the git diff locally and then remotely on GitHub in order to catch things I might have missed while focusing on development. Stepping back and seeing your code in the pull request review context can be helpful for finding stylistic nits and seeing your code from your colleague's perspective. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.